hello friends uh, this video is uploaded to show you the intercompany STO process which is plant to plant stock transfer between two company code okay so let us quickly go back to the master data that is required okay master data that are required are the material master okay the material master should be exist in both the plants okay supplying plant and receiving plant and it should also ensure that it is extended to sales or view okay sales and distribution so there should be a sales view extended for the sales org and distribution channel one plan should be a customer and one plan should be a vendor and there should be an info record that should be existing here okay these are the master data that are required when you go to the configs configs so both plans should be available in sap supplying and receiving plant there should be a shipment one that should be assigned to the supplying plant okay and there are some sto setups i will go through i will go through sap and show you what are the different sto, STO steps that we have okay now the first one is check the material master now if i go to mm03 so let me take this material number and uh, so it should exist in both the plants okay so i'll quickly go to the first plant which is nothing but a supplying plant uh, is what i have zero one so if you see uh sales are view so it is extended to sales of triple nine eight and zero one as a distribution channel so and we have the loading group as this is most important to determine your shipping point okay so there is a config which is uh, mainly in a shipping point based on this data okay so triple nine six if you say triple nine six is meant here now let us go to the receiving plant so let us see if the same material is extended to the same plant as well so purchasing view triple nine seven so it is extended to triple nine seven as well sorry Go to purchasing triple nine seven, okay. Which is extended to triple nine seven. So the metal master is present in both the plans. Now let us see the business partner, which is nothing but let me go to 3723. So if we go to 3723, this is a business partner number and this is a vendor number, okay. And this vendor number is marked as a plant, okay, meaning. The plant has the vendor number as 3709. See if it's a plant and 3996. So, this is how we do the con uh, settings like we'll mark plant as a vendor in the HANA systems. Okay, so this is HANA system which I'm showing. Now, we'll go back to the other. Uh, so, so, in the same BP only, we'll create uh, customers. Okay. If you see 3704 is a business partner and 37, sorry, if I go to the customer general data, 3703 is the customer number, okay. So 3703 is the customer number and this customer number will be marked as a plant in some config. I will go through that config as well, okay. Go to the sales and distribution channel and switch on our 9989 value transfer shipping point so shipping condition is zero one this is important okay so this is how the uh, hana uh, looks like hana uh, customer master look like okay i will upload one other video so you can see how to create a customer master how to create a vendor master in hana okay okay this is fine so i have done that let me go to spro settings now img now let us see the shipping point what is the shipping point that is assigned to the supplying plant okay if we go to assignment infrastructure assignment logistics execution here if you see type 3996 which is a supplying plant okay 3996 is assigned to 3996 shipping point and also 3997 so we are using 3996 as a shipping point here okay for intercompany now go back here and there is some other config that is important you need to make sure 
in sales or distribution channel okay so this is a node if we go to triple nine six sorry okay and this is important triple nine six and triple nine seven so they both are assigned to so no it is sorry sorry this one triple nine eight triple nine eight sales or zero one zero one distribution and is assigned triple nine six and triple nine seven this is most important conflict okay and apart from this let me go back to the shipping point determination okay logic six execution shipping under shipping you go to the ship basic shipping condition shipping point determination assign shipping point okay if you see here if we select by plant so our supplying plant is three and six okay and choose so this is one other config so shipping condition from the customer master loading group from the material master and supplying plant has a ship so when we have these three combinations one two three and combinations this shipping point will propose okay now go back go back this is one config that is required let me go to the other configs like if i go to material master purchase view purchase order okay now under purchase order set up front okay shipping data for plan this is important because this is where we'll say three bull nine seven okay has a customer reason meaning we'll assign the customer number to the plant so now we will 3703 is a customer number which is assigned to triple nine seven plant okay this is one config which is important the other config is configure type okay because this is inter company so the document type what we use is nb for for nb again is that again is the supply plant is triple nine six and delivery type what is nlcc which is nothing but cross company port i am going back this is one config and also you need to go to this config where you will say okay if supply plant is triple nine six and the same plant is triple nine seven use nb document type okay this is one other uh, config that is important so these are the list of configurations what we have seen okay now so to supply let us see whether the stock is there in the supply and product so 996 so let us see all with three is the material okay 85 quantity we have so the batch is 72 so in in this plant triple nine six which is a plant plant under store location 9966a we have the stock of 85 okay now what are the steps for the transactions things now create a PO directly what is a plant supplying plant in seven zero five is a supplying plant yes let us see what is it Three seven zero nine is a vendor. Okay, three seven zero nine is for the vendor, which is nothing but the supplying plant. Now let me say ten quantity I required and I required for plan triple nine seven. So three seven zero nine is a vendor number assigned to triple nine six. If I enter it, triple nine six. Okay, now enter the purchase organization fine let me enter the purchase organization and say enter so we got some values now see the shipping point now shipping tab is determined here so if you see 3703 whatever the config i have shown in shipping data for plant so this is so 997 plant customer number is 3703 okay sales so determined. shipping point also got determined okay because we have shipping condition as zero one condition and loading group as we have a combination which determines this and NLCC also we determine based on that assignment in the SPRO configurations. Okay, so we have got everything now. So there are no errors even. Okay, see there are no errors. Now directly save it. So now we got the PO. 
once you got the pivot the next step to create is delivery transaction is VL10B view the shipping point view the purchase order here execute here or is showing yellow that's fine say, click on this and say background so we got some delivery created if you see there is some green light okay click on this and you will see the delivery in the purchase order registry so this is a delivery what we have got now click on this delivery change now what is that in which store location that did we have this stock i think uh, 996A right 996A over where we have the subframe okay so what we are doing is now we are shipping the quantity of 10 okay from supplying plan 3997 store location 996A okay and what is the batch we have 72 batch right now let's do PJ once you do the PGI, there is a back and posting that will happen, which is with 643 moment type. Say 643 moment type. Open this document. So you have done 643 moment type, which is stock transfer between cross company posts. Okay. And you have supplied from 3996 to 3996 uh, plant. Okay. And where is the stock currently? So let us see where is the stock. Do you see any anything here? You will not find it here because so the stock has been reduced to 10. Previously it was 85, now it is 75. But where it has been transferred? So execute it here. So We haven't got anything as of now. Okay, let let us do the GR now. Okay, let us do the GR and see what happens. Because we need to do GR, then only the system will. Yeah. So where we are getting triple nine seven and triple nine seven A. So we are receiving the stock. So if you check here it will say some posting error that's not the show check here this is fine now see here it is showing in 30 only actually there is 20 stock previously it was on order stock 20 there so our stock 10 quantity is showing on order stock only now once i post this gr right you will see 25 stock over here And refresh see 25 stock so whenever you do the PGR it will show in on order stock okay and when you do the GR the stock will be coming into our plant premises and it will show in unrestricted stock now we have done the GR now what we need to do is we need to do the Miro or first we need to do is we need to do billing we need to do billing from the SD side so I'm just creating some delivery I'm not creating any value we did not maintain any conditions anything okay I'll directly save it we have done billing now I'll do the Miro transaction which is an invoice from our side okay from the sourcing side or the from procurement side okay Say something okay let me do the posting file here let me take the same p1 number and copy it says supply some zero nine is the winner it's not a that's fine so when uh, there is something that has been missed in the invoice party uh, let me go to BP here. So I show BP. Now 
open to the server to see if my business partner and if I go to the purchasing and if I go to the partner functions okay you must purchase 3 cells over here okay so Oh, I'm sorry. So it should be extended to a company code, okay? So I did not extend this to company code. Let me quickly extend it, okay? Company code. So create triple nine eight. Okay. Add out. Now reconciliation account. Let me see what are the errors. System will pop up. Uh, require reconciliation account. That has been saved. Now let us do the uh, invoice now. Slash on MIR. Same thing, same view, same everything is run. Posting date, I mean, posting date. Previously, because there are some error, enter. See, 3709 is what it took. Now, what is amount? 3000 is amount. Okay. Let me put 3000. Simulate and post done. So we have completed the HTO process successfully. So let us go back to the PO slash an ME twenty three. So if you see everything has been closed. We have done the PGI, we have done the invoice, we have done GR everything is done.